Hi everyone, this is Crazy Kitchen at Fast and Easy YouTube channel and today we are going to cook uh, two different uh, dishes with my dearest friend Kate. Hello! Uh, Kate is one of our native speakers who teaches English in our team so today we're going to have some fun at this kitchen and uh, <laughs> we'll try to cook something that is eatable. Right, so what we'll are we going to cook today? Okay, so today for normal food, not sweets, we're going to make tacos. Normal and sweets. Right? Yes. <laughs> so what is sweet is not normal. <gasps> no, sweets are normal, but I mean like for, you know, because people tell me that sweets aren't real food, so... <laughs> <laughs> so you can eat <laughs> as much as you want. <laughs> My boyfriend tells me it's not dinner. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so we're going to make tacos, we have some black beans black beans. <laughs> so they're vegetarian. You can make a vegan variant if you want, uh, but they're vegetarian. And then after that, we're also going to make something called blueberry pound cake. Uh, so what else do we need to cook tacos? Okay, so we need these tortillas. Okay. You know, because you need something to put them in. You need black beans, uh, tomatoes, lime, onions, yeah, cilantro, sour um, cream. Salsa. Salsa is really important. This is the best salsa that I found in Russia. It's really tasty. Um, and if you like spice, it's not super spicy, but it does have a little bit of spice. If you like spice, then I also really like to add spicy pepper to the, to the beans while they're cooking. Um, this is the tastiest one that I can find, but any spicy chili pepper will do. Did I say corn? Corn. Corn and uh, sour cream. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, is it like very important to have black beans or we can also use something else? Uh, you know, in my opinion, the black beans are really important because the taste is really different from all of the other normal beans. Uh, but if you don't have anything else, then please feel free to substitute with whatever you want. If you don't want to make beans, you can also make this with chicken. If you don't want chicken, you can also make it with, I don't know, shrimp or steak or whatever you want, even eggs. Um, but if you can find these black beans, they're super tasty. I can find them at Perikryostek and a Sean, and I can find them also on Ozone if you want to order delivery from there. Oh, and Amazon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Russian Amazon. <laughs> okay, what do I do first? So first, we start the beans. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, about the beans. So if you buy them in a can, you don't really have to do very much, but if you buy them dry like this, there's two ways that you can do it. You can leave them to soak in water overnight. And then you pour out the water, put in new water, and then start boiling them on like a medium heat. It's better to boil them for a longer time on a lower heat than like a short time on a high heat because then they'll come out tough. And don't add any salt until the end because if you add salt, they'll also come out tough. Or you can just uh, skip the soaking part and start boiling them for like two hours. That's why I hate everything which is connected with this because I hate to we put them overnight. Them. <laughs> takes too much time. So yeah. while uh, it's uh, boiling, what else we do? Yeah, so the rest of it really is just prep work. You want to okay. cut the onion so that it's in really, right. really small pieces. Okay. Yeah. Is it, is it clean already? Yeah, it's uh, clean already. Are you sure? We can clean it again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, because, you know, it's very important. Yes, it is very important. Yeah. All right, so while I'm uh, doing all the job, uh -huh. will you tell us what brought you to Russia and um, why you decided to come here and uh, like how, how did it happen? Yeah, so basically it happened. I had to finish university <laughs> and they gave me an option. They said, well, actually they didn't really give me an option. That was the problem. I had to study <laughs> a language, <laughs> any, any language. And I was like, all right, all right. You know, I was really dragging my feet. I didn't want to do it because I was scared. And so then I printed a list of all of the languages my school offered. And my school offered a ton of languages. I went to a really, really big school, the University of Texas. There's like 50,000 students. And I was like, no, Spanish, boring. I did that in school. I didn't really learn anything. Boring, boring, boring. And I was left with Korean, Arabic, and Russian. And I chose Russian. What? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but now also you learn Chinese. Yes, with your teacher. Yeah, with my teacher. Yeah. <laughs> So how, how Kate, do you like Kate, Kate. <laughs> Yeah, our teacher, like, my name is Kate, it's Kate, and the teacher is also Kate, so it's like, yeah, the fight club. Yes. Um, what do you find more challenging, learning Russian or Chinese? Oh, <laughs> you know, it's a really good question. Um, in the, you know, I think Russian was probably just like this shock. 
because before I started learning Russian, I had learned a little bit of French, a little bit of Spanish, which is all grammatically speaking, more or less similar to English. But then, you know, I come to the first lesson of Russian and like the first word you have to learn is Здравствуйте! <laughs> and then Пожалуйста! And I'm just like, oh my gosh, you know, there's like these big words, you have to learn a new alphabet. And I also didn't really understand that there could be totally, completely different grammatical structures where like everything has to change. Like all the time. Oh yeah. Uh, have you seen this video of uh, Milo Kunis and Ashton Kutcher? Well, they were like, he was like, oh my God, when I'm visiting her family, I, I always think that they are saying some bad words about me. <laughs> <laughs> but they are just speaking Russian. <laughs> just normal. <laughs> all right. Yeah. So, and how long have you been living here in Moscow? It's my third year. Oh my God. Yeah. So uh, what has been the most challenging situation you have ever faced while living here? You know, I think the most challenging situation that I have ever faced is a, is a situation that I actually face fairly frequently. The first day that I came, the, the very first day, I had just gotten off the plane. I was so tired. I didn't sleep on the plane because I was like so excited. Like, oh my God, I'm going to Russia. I'm going to Russia. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing? And I get off the plane and I realize I am so so hungry. So I'm in the middle of the city and like I go into this like underground passageway and there's this woman selling apples and I'm like, oh great, it's an apple. Uh huh. <laughs> I really want an apple. So I walk up, I don't really know how money works. And I'm like, walk up, I don't really have many words. And I just like show her this apple, like I want this apple. And she's like, okay. And she says some number like blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I have no idea like what she said, how much money she wanted, how much I was supposed to give her. And I didn't really understand the value of money either. Uh, so I just like gave her a 1,000 <laughs> ruble bill. Oh my god! For one apple. Oh my god! <laughs> and she's like, Devushka! <laughs> <laughs> and she just starts yelling at me. And I understood that I did something wrong. And I just like show her everything I had. And like she took some money, gave me some money. I think she was, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, people just being really direct and like. I wouldn't always say that they yell at me, but kind of yelling at me when I do things wrong. <laughs> uh, all right, is it okay or did I do something wrong? Because no, it's okay. okay. You can cut the, look, the onion smaller if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> the look. <laughs> so yeah. uh, how are we going to use this? Are we going to put it uh, right on the... Yeah, it just goes on top. Ah, okay. Yeah, so like we're fresh. not going to fry it. No. Or... All right. Yeah. So is this uh, food very popular in Texas? We eat tacos all the time in Texas. And for breakfast? Yeah, there's breakfast tacos. Like what? Like with eggs? Yeah, breakfast tacos can be with eggs, they can be with beans, they can be with potatoes. Okay. Yeah. And they can be simple, like they can be complicated with all sorts of toppings, or it can just be like potatoes and beans, or like egg and cheese, or avocado and bean. I mean, it can be really anything. All right. Yeah, lots of variants. Okay. Uh -huh. What's your favorite? Not this one, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I really, really love black beans, so it's true. Even at home, I made it a lot. What do I do next? What do we do next? We... Join me. <laughs> I have another. <laughs> this is <funny. laughs> Good. Uh, so we can cut the lime into fours. Uh, how do? Well, why do we need to do that before we? Ah, I do this. Like you kind of roll it a little bit okay. because it'll help the juice come out when you start squeezing it. All right. Or at least somebody told me that. I don't know if it's wow. true, I, but I, I do it now. Wow. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You can lime do experts. <laughs> <laughs> okay. DJ uh, lime. So what do we do next? We, we cut them just like this. Just into fours. Okay. So will you please wash it? Because yeah, I will. I'm afraid of. Huh. All the infections, oh my god. Coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, we need a pan, right? For that. Uh, just a plate is fine for ah, now. A plate. Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, they're over there. Or <laughs> <laughs> maybe here. Maybe this one will be better. Yeah. Yeah, okay. We're very prepared. All right. <laughs> uh, and um, what about drinks? Uh, what is popular in Texas? Ooh. Like when, well, okay, let's say like when you have a house party, uh -huh. how is it usually going? Like, I mean, uh, what do you have for drinks? What do you have for, for snacks? Yeah, okay, so a normal house party will have beer, <laughs> of course. <laughs> We have actually, so I'm from the city Austin in Texas, and there are tons and tons and tons of microbreweries and beer options there. We have really tasty beer, all kinds of beer. And then we also have normal beer, you know, like Corona or something, into four. So one more time also. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Yes, boss. Yes. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, boss. <laughs> 
Uh, and I put it here. Yeah, no, just just leave it there, and we'll put it on the tacos. And we're also later on going to put some into the beans. Probably. So I need to do the same with this one. Yeah, that okay. one can be. Yeah, okay, the same. Let's do the same. All right. So and beers. Margaritas. Yeah, margaritas. Yeah, beer, margarita, and whiskey. Uh, Bloody Mary. Uh, they're popular. You know, mixed drinks when you're having a house party. People might have like some area where you can mix drinks yourself, but at the parties I usually go to, they <laughs> don't have margaritas and Bloody Marys. But if you're going to brunch or if you're going to a restaurant or something, they're popular. Oh, and Bloody Marys also, I don't know if you guys have seen pictures, but sometimes they'll have these gigantic Bloody Marys with all sorts of like food and topping and like miniature burgers and things like this on top of them. It's crazy. Yeah. Okay. What do we do next? Next, we should, ah, oh, right, that's right, we need lime for corn. We drain the corn. <laughs> I was like, why do we need so much lime? I don't remember. <laughs> there was something. Okay. Mm-hmm. So. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay. Next, we stir the beans. <laughs> I did it. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so we need all the corn, right? Yeah. Well, let's do we just do it? all of it. Well, um, first, let's make sure there's no liquid in there, and we should drain it. Okay. Into, we have this. All right. And corn oh. is super super popular in Texas as well, right? Corn. Uh, uh, corn and yeah. Well, in America, in general, no. Yeah. I mean, you know, it depends. What is the most popular product? Like the food you eat, like for Russians, people say it's potato mm -hmm. or something. You know, it's a good question. Yeah. I think it depends a lot on the family and where you're growing up and what part of the states you're in. For example, in my house, <laughs> potatoes and pasta were both really, really popular. Probably the most popular. That might be true for everybody, but I don't know. It's yeah, okay, so that. All right. Uh huh. We should turn on the. Mm -hmm. It's like this crazy stove, I don't really know how to <laughs> <laughs> Can you hold it, please? Yeah, I can hold it. I can do that. Okay. Woohoo! Okay. Great. And then you add a little bit of oil. You don't need a ton, but just a little bit, you know. So it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> it was blocked. But again, I did it. Good job. Okay. And then? And then we need to make sure the oil is all over the pan. Yes. Yes. Because yes. it's very important for any kind of food you cook. Mm -hmm. And it's also important to keep your positive mood when you're cooking because uh, <laughs> it basically forms a special area, a specific <laughs> atmosphere and um, vibes. That you then, never know what can happen. Yeah. <laughs> if you cook, if you are happy when you're cooking, everybody will be very, very healthy with your, uh, when they're eating your food. And they will not gain any weight. <laughs> That's the secret. That's the secret. <laughs> so okay. I put it here, right? So see, yeah, 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 yeah. Just, okay. just throw it in there. Yeah, look, go on. Yeah, I don't know. And then you just like mix it when you need to. Make sure it doesn't okay. burn. But you want to okay. like, oh, and then, and I, I squeeze some, some lime there. Right? Wait, wait a minute, because okay. there's yeah, you're gonna want to wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite food in Russian? In Russia. Uh, kitchen, yeah. Oh, I really like blingni. Ooh, with caviar? Or oh, yeah, that's okay. Like on a normal day, I don't know, I could go to Kusville and just buy, because I'm lazy. You know, I try to make blingni sometimes, but okay. it just doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> it just doesn't. So I usually <laughs> buy them. I can buy them with meat or with chicken or something. I don't really like, or with like condensed milk. I like all of them more or less. And how do you cook blini? You know, I've tried it with kefir, mm -hmm. and I've tried it with milk. Mm -hmm. And it just, I don't know. When Russian people do it, it turns out better. Oh, really? Always. Do you make blini? Yeah. How do you do it? What's your secret? Um, well, I spread positive vibes. <laughs> <laughs> First, <laughs> well, um, it should be a day off because if you are nervous, because you can be nervous in the morning while you're making mm -hmm. breakfast and if you feel like I don't have enough time and then you're like, oh my God, uh, and uh, you feel pretty bad, you know, the food is not going to be very, very tasty. So yeah, first, it should be a weekend. 
or a day off. And then uh, you put a couple of eggs, a little bit of flour, and um, what else? I don't remember. I, you know, sometimes... Milk, water, something? Yeah. yeah. Well, sometimes when I cook something, I don't really follow any kind of um, recipe or something. I just do it with my intuition. It's <laughs> a good idea, yeah. Sometimes it's not eatable. <laughs> But sometimes it is. <laughs> yeah, sometimes, in most cases it is. Yeah. Okay. Uh, like little blocks. If okay. you can, yeah. Little blocks. Little blocks. All right. And so uh, you grew up in Texas as well. Well, no, I, kind of, yes. Kind of. So I lived in Texas until I was three, and then we moved to Arizona, a different state. And then when I was like seven or eight, we moved to New Jersey, which is a different state. And New Jersey, which is like uh, close to New York. Really right? close to uh -huh. New York. It, uh -huh. We probably lived, we lived in New North Jersey and it was probably about 70 kilometers away from New York City, but we never went there. My parents were like, no, it's never? dangerous. Big cities are dangerous. You're oh, not going they never, there. Like, and then you went to Moscow. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, I really showed them. Oh, let's make this smaller. <laughs> <laughs> it's gigantic. You have a good intuition though. They're great cubes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm not sure if it's even warm. I'm not either. That's okay. We'll figure it out. Okay. Yeah, there's good vibes there. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so usually, you know, um, we don't usually use brinza for this. It's, there's like some other Mexican cheese called cotija, mm -hmm. but I cannot find that in Moscow at all. Really? No. Even if you go to some like, you know, food markets? I've looked, but you know what, to be honest, like brinza is a pretty good substitute. Mm -hmm. It's not exactly the same, but it's still like tasty and it's a lot easier to find and you don't have to go through extra effort. So I don't really try anymore to find it. What's your favorite place to eat in Moscow? Oh, my favorite place to eat in Moscow. I like Georgian food. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's this one place that I don't remember the name of. Um, John Jolie? No, not Jolie, <laughs> but it's, uh, no, I have no idea what it's called. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know your favorite place to eat in Moscow. <laughs> <laughs> I know where it is, that's it. <laughs> where? It's when you go to Chisti Prudy, mm -hmm. you can leave, and then if you're looking on the left, is where you go to Lubyanka, and then okay. on the right, there's McDonald's. All right. And you turn right, uh -huh. and you walk like three or four minutes, and it'll be on the left. I have no idea. Yeah, okay. exactly. <laughs> I think it starts with ch. <laughs> Chuka? But it's like two words, I think. I don't know. Okay. We'll find out and we'll link it in the description. <laughs> <laughs> it's really tasty, I promise. I just have a really bad memory. All right. Um, pancakes. What else do you, like, uh, do you like about Russian food? Ooh, you know, I've, I'll tell you what I don't like. Okay. I don't like haladets. Mm -hmm. And I don't like a kroshka. <laughs> you no, know, like uh, some people, some foreign people who come to live to Moscow, some expats, they call uh, a kroshka, they call it like Coca-Cola soup <laughs> because it looks like Coca-Cola. Like, really. yes. Yeah. You don't like kvass? No, I don't like kvass. Okay. Yeah. They also cook kartoshka, a kroshka. <laughs> <laughs> they also cook a kroshka with kefir. Yeah, I don't like kefir that much either. Okay. Yeah. Then no option for you. No you option for me. You also have a Russian boyfriend. I do. Does he cook for you? Or he does. How's your like, you know, everyday things, like what you eat and everything? Who cooks more, you or him? You know, it really depends on who's working, because if he's working, then uh, I'm probably going to do the cooking for myself, and then I'm kind of lazy, because, you know, I don't, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> maybe I'll make toast or something. <laughs> but if we're together, sometimes we'll make pilmeni, or sometimes we'll, like, really go out. Sometimes I cook American food, sometimes he cooks Russian food, sometimes we try to cook Chinese food or something. I mean, we really try everything. Wow, yeah. Chinese food. Yeah, you know, you just, like, rice, you buy some sauce and vegetables or chicken or shrimp or whatever, and you just throw it in a pan and it works out usually. With good vibes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> With some good vibes. <laughs> yeah, without that, it's not really gonna work. <laughs> Everybody's going to gain some weight. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay, so I washed it. Yeah, okay, so you should just cut it. Or I'll cut it. Okay. <laughs> it's a very nice and tiny. Yes. Like this. Equipment. We have. <laughs> okay, uh, when do I stop frying the corn? Ah, uh, okay, so when you see that it's like, it's frying. kind of been fried yeah. a little bit. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> Do I need to add something there? I mean, like, 
um, so, tomato or? No, you don't need to add tomato or anything. We're gonna use the tomato fresh. I mean, you can, if you're doing this at home, you can add the tomato and fry the tomato a little bit if you want to. It's really up to you, whatever goes. All right. I like the tomato when it's fresh. So we'll fry the corn a little bit and then when it's ready, we'll probably turn off the heat. Or no, like a second before it's ready, you add some lime and then you turn off the heat and then you throw the corn in there. Not the corn, it's already corn. <laughs> <laughs> The cheese. <laughs> okay. It's a very scientific process. Um, <laughs> the beans are ready. Oh, they're ready? Yeah. Cool, then you just turn off the heat. Okay, yeah. <laughs> That's simple. <laughs> really simple. It's really spicy. It's really spicy. <laughs> you know, I kind of thought that maybe I added too many chili flakes, but it was too late. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Once you add them, you add them. Okay, I love it. By the way, like this is one of my favorite things. Yeah. Cilantro. Yeah. I love cilantro too. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Then let's cut all of it. Well. Well, put it everywhere. Yeah. Let's cut it everywhere. Like all yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's have it. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll take out these big pieces. Can I eat? Yeah. That's why I love cooking. Because you basically can, like you know, enjoy the process even more and try something when everybody's really hungry. Yes. But you are in charge of the process. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you can add Ooh. more. Oopsie. Okay. It's flying. Anything else I need to do? Uh, open yeah, you can mm -hmm. open that. Mm -hmm. You know, to be honest, I mean, we're just gonna wait for this corn. Mm -hmm. In a second, we'll drain the beans. Oh, do we have another frying pan? Mm, because we can yeah. heat up the tortillas. Yeah. Yeah, if we do. Yeah, great. And then it'll be really tasty. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Have you tried to cook them, like, you know, yourself? No, um, I've never tried. Because Although Italians, they cook pasta, like homemade pasta. And, <laughs> but I think it's pretty simple. I think so too. Here, okay. you can cook them two times, uh, two at a time. Ah, like really? Yeah, and just flip them, you know, like periodically. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> okay. Yeah, it doesn't have to be a lot, a lot, but just so they're kind of warm and, you know, toasty. And mm -hmm. Nice. So what is your favorite food from American food? I don't know. It's a hard question, right? It's a hard question. I understand. Really. Because I, I love eating, like, you know, in general. So. Uh-huh. Yeah. But um, I don't know. What's traditional American food? Yeah, th that's, that, that's, that's the, the question. question. <laughs> <laughs> so you basically like, yeah, um, in a way, uh, they ate a lot of avocado for breakfast. Oh. So to, to well, I don't know. I remember once when we were traveling in San Francisco, we tried those uh, cho cho cho, the soup made of um, cho powder, clam chowder. No, ah, chowder, chowder. Is it with seafood? Oysters, crabs, crab soup. <laughs> Okay, uh, once when we were traveling in San Francisco, um, I tried a crab soup uh, and it was served in a bread. That was oh, amazing. Yeah. Bread bowls. Bread bowls, yeah, that was amazing because, well, it was pretty cold. So, <laughs> <laughs> and I was really hungry. But no, not only because of this, but also, yeah, it was, it was amazing, like really. So, yeah, I don't know, different things. Also, yeah. French fries. Oh, yeah. There are all sorts of different kinds of French fries. Yeah. You know? Oh, really? Yeah. But uh, what one thing I can't understand how to 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 eat it, and I, I don't understand in like you know, in terms of food and drinks. This is a milkshake. I have no idea why people like it, and this is weird because I know a lot of my friends who love it, but I don't. I don't really understand that. That's okay. You don't but, have to. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
to be honest, I don't entirely understand it either. I mean, it's okay. I like ice cream, but I'm not like a super, super fan. I don't know. It's tasty, but you know. Okay. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. That's it. We're just waiting. Oh. So what, 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 what does your boyfriend usually cook for you? Oh, it's a good question. What does he cook? <laughs> Well, a few nights ago, he made a curry, a really, really tasty curry. Mm. Yeah, and actually, I didn't even know you could do this until a few days before that, but he marinated the chicken in kefir. Wow, but you hate kefir. I know, but when it was marinated, it was fine. Like, oh, it's great. not like I'm like drinking kefir, you know? If it's like part of something, then it's okay. Maybe we should flip it, I don't know. Both of them. Um, okay, don't be afraid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you! <laughs> I'm here for you! <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's perfect. In another second, they'll be perfect. Okay, uh, do we need a plate or something where we... Yeah! Ah, okay, just... just. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I have two plates. I'll show you guys. So actually, I lied. <laughs> we're not making tacos, we're making burritos. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, uh, the biggest difference between tacos and burritos is that a burrito is going to have a really, really big tortilla. And you roll it together and it's like one big thing. Tacos, the tortilla is smaller. Well, maybe there's some other difference, but I mean, like, that, that's basically it. <laughs> All right. And we have big tortillas, so we are making burritos. Ta-da! Okay. Yeah, I think they're ready. You can take them off. Uh-huh. And the other one, too, yeah, so it doesn't burn. Be careful. Be very careful. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh. I'll okay. show you how to do it. So you take yours. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe we need another. Ah, we have, we have one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so you just like add some sour cream and then. So this is the order I usually do it. I do sour cream. Oh, that's a lot. <gasps> I love it. Okay, then do it. It's yours. It's your world. <laughs> <laughs> We're just living in it. <laughs> your wives and your world. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, do I need to put it here also? Yeah, 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 for me. Okay. I'm trying to open this. Uh, yeah, that's great. Okay. No I can way. put more. No, 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 that's fine. <laughs> 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 okay. Uh, so, what do we do next? Next. This one. No. No? Beans. Beans? Beans. And only, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so we take the beans. We don't want the liquid. We only want oh the bean my part. God. <laughs> so we can, I, I, we can use one of these spoons, I guess, to try and get it out. Or we can also use a regular spoon. Yeah, we can also just, you know. Strain uh, it. Yeah, we yeah. don't want the liquid. We don't want the liquid, so no. will you hold this thing for me? Yeah. Please? Okay. I can help. Okay. That's okay. Yeah. Put it back? Yeah. Okay. <gasps> Oops. Oh my god. We lost a couple soldiers, <laughs> brave soldiers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now you put some beans in here. I usually try to put it in a line, kind of. Not like a circle, but a line. Because then it'll be easier when you're trying to roll the burrito. All right. So, like, use a spoon or something. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. It's kind of a small spoon. We'll have to do this a couple times. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. The smell is like just so amazing, guys. Oh my god. I'm so hungry. Me too. Oh, like that much, I guess. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, black so beans. So Instagrammable. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll do it here too. Oops, sorry. Mm hmm. Yeah. It's a very serious process. Really serious. <laughs> Should be super focused and concentrated. Otherwise, you're really gonna, you know, yeah, mess fail it up. everything. Yes. Yeah. Okay, okay. So now we have our corn. Which you know what? Let's just say it's ready. I mean, why not? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what I like to do with this corn is take a little bit of lime, put some lime in here, so we have some limey corn. Maybe we need more. Yeah. Okay. Let's do more. I just like the process. Yeah. I wanted to try this. I mean. This oh. is one of my favorite things when I'm cooking, like, you know, to squeeze lemon. Yes. I love it. Yeah, that's probably enough. Oh, okay. Yeah. And if you're doing this at home, I mean, it's trial and error. If you do too little one time, then just do more the next time. It's not a big deal, you know? Because, of course, you're going to make it every night for dinner once you realize how tasty it is. Wait, 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 wait. The cheese. Maybe that's a lot. Maybe we should just put half of that in here. Aw, oh, cheese. It's never a lot. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And now we mix it all together. Yeah. 
cheese, cheese. Oh, it's so beautiful. I love, like, you know, also, what I like about cooking, it's really, like, colors. Yeah. Super beautiful. And sometimes those combinations of colors, like, really make me so, I don't know, like, I feel so amazing when I just try to realize how beautiful the food can be yes. and different textures and different flavors and colors and sizes and yeah so beautiful okay yeah that's good okay and now you'll just put a little bit of it on top of the beans i mean however much you want maybe a little maybe a lot whatever you like on the top yeah on top in a line as well if like you can. this yeah 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 that's funny <laughs> it's not a line it's, it's a line it's line enough. <laughs> look it's a line oh my god yeah look <laughs> Okay, one more time. Okay, the second time is better than it's the first. It's beautiful. It means you should always keep trying. Yes, <laughs> practice makes perfect, guys. Look. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's great. Yeah. Yeah. Now, you can put some red onion on there if you'd like. You can put some cilantro on there if you'd like. You can put some tomatoes on there um, if you'd like. On the top? Yeah, on the top. Okay. Layers. Oh, beautiful, serious process. <laughs> we need to squeeze some lemon. Lime? Lime, sorry. You can if you want. There's lime on the, cheese, on the what's it called, corn. But you can do more. That's oh, a beautiful process. I like lime. I love it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we put some tomato. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And some... Yes. And next is the fun part. So next, I usually... Yes. Yeah, salsa. <laughs> Also in a line. Um, <laughs> yeah, just do it. Go for it. Okay. Yeah. The worst thing that happens is nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And cilantro. Oh. Ooh, look at that. Look it's at beauty. that. It's beauty. It's grace. Bring my phone, somebody, somebody, please. I will make a picture for my Instagram. <laughs> Sorry. No. Not now. Later. Okay. All right. What do we do next? Now it's time to roll the burrito. Wow. Are you ready? Yay. Okay. Like this? So first I take both ends. So remember it was a line. You take it at like the end of the line uh -huh. and you kind of close it. Uh-huh. And at this, yeah, great. And then you kind of pinch it with your thumb and your index finger, bring it over and roll like that. Ooh, wow. Great. Yeah. And that's how you roll a burrito. Wow. <laughs> Shall we try it? Yeah, let's try it. Uh, how to eat it correctly? Like, I mean, this or that? I usually go like this. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay, ready? Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. It turned out well. It's so tasty. Mm -hmm. mm. Tacos in Moscow. Mm, yeah. Burritos. <laughs> By the way. <laughs> so, and as you guys saw, it doesn't take a long time. It's pretty easy. Well, the beans, if you have to <laughs> boil them. But it's easy. You just put them there and you forget about them for a couple hours and they'll be ready. So, this is how to cook an authentic taco slash burrito. Yes. If you like it, you see, comment, like, share, show us your pictures. We'll be happy to hear from you guys. We hope you will have fun while cooking, mm -hmm. eating, and also learning English with us. So, see you next time in the next episode. Bye-bye! Bye! -bye. Bye.